Now, uh, let's understand uh, the formula for combination. Uh, friends, in my lectures, I won't be using the term permutation. Whenever it is required to arrange the persons, I'll make the arrangement. And uh, that we will see when we'll be doing the problems, right? No need to use permutation. You can straightforward go by uh, combinations, right? Now, the number of combinations that can be formed from n different objects taken r at a time is ncr that is n factorial by r factorial n minus r factorial right suppose you have five friends and out of these five friends you wish to choose two friends right so you have to go this way that is 5 c 2 right 5 c 2 now what 5 c 2 is 5 factorial upon 2 factorial into 5 minus 2 factorial so this is 5 factorial by 2 factorial into 3 factorial now this we have to solve right now generally if you are making combination what is happening over here suppose five friends are a b c d e as we have done in the previous examples we got the 10 uh, 10 combinations it is a b a c a d a e b c b d b e then c d c e and then d e so in all 10 combinations are there right so if we solve this it's 5 factorial that is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 this is 2 factorial that is 2 and 3 factorial is 3 into 2 right so we are getting 10 combinations right so that I have written over here. So if we have n objects and we have to select r objects out of them, so the formula will be ncr, right? The number of combinations will be ncr. And what is the expansion of ncr is n factorial over r factorial into n minus r factorial, right? Uh, see, I won't tell you the derivation over here because it will be really a time-consuming process. You just uh, ma uh, like uh, like memorize this formula that is NCR is equal to N factorial by R factorial into N minus R factorial, right? So, this is what the selection only, right? So, this is the first thing. Now, second thing, if we have to arrange n objects uh, in uh, various ways, so how many ways will be there, right? Let's take an example. Suppose I have five objects. That is P, Q, R, S and T. And I have to arrange them at five places, right? So for the first place, I have five choices. For the second place, four, then three, then two, then one. Right? So this is what is five factorial. That we have already done in uh, our uh, previous session. That the uh, principle of counting we were using. So these are five factorial ways. So five objects can be arranged in five factorial ways at five places. Right? That means n objects can be arranged at n places in n factorial ways okay it's okay so it's n factorial ways are there to arrange n uh, objects at n places right now let's relate the two this one and this one now i'm here uh, here i'm writing down the uh, entire incident just listen to me carefully first of all i have n objects i have to select r objects then arrangement of these objects to be done right now go step by step i have n objects i am selecting R objects that means NCR out of N objects I am selecting R objects now till here I have done the selection now I have to arrange this selected objects right 
that is how many objects I have selected R objects and I have to arrange this R objects at R places what will be the number of arrangements as we have just discussed that is R factorial right so it's NCR first of all I made the selection then I made the arrangement of selected objects in R factorial ways so both the things are happening simultaneously so it is NCR into R factorial the complete solution to this problem Okay, just listen to me once again. N objects and we have to select R objects. So from N objects, we are selecting R objects that is NCR. Then these R objects which I have selected, I have to arrange them at R places. So there are R factorial ways, right? So NCR into R factorial. This is the complete solution to this problem and it is nothing but NPR right that is permutation now you got the difference between these two here only selection is there then selection then arrangement is permutation right so this is selection this is selection and then arrangement so what is the difference between permutation and combination combination is strictly selection and permutation is arrangement of selected objects right arrangement this is arrangement of selected objects we selected our objects and we are arranging our objects right so arrangement of selected objects is permutation and only selection is combination right so this is what the difference between these two and this is the relationship between these two right ncr into r factorial is npr right so as I uh, had already told you that we don't have to use P and PR because whenever we are in requirement uh, of arrangement, we can simply use R factorial, right? If we have to make a selection, then we have to arrange the selected objects then we can go for NCR into R factorial. No need to use NPR, right? So you will never get confusion what to, uh, where to use NPR and where to use NCR, right? You just see whether if selection is there, do NCR. If you see uh, after selection you have to make the arrangement also so just arrange the selected objects in r factorial ways right so uh, let's do uh, some simple problems then we will come to uh, this um, com com permutation combination uh, combination problem right now I just expand it over here ncr is uh, n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial and into this r factorial is n p r so r factorial r factorial is cancelled so the formula for n p r is n factorial by n minus r factorial right i just rewrite the uh, put the formula so n c r is equal to n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial and npr is equal to ncr into r factorial right so it is n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial into r factorial so it's n factorial by n minus r factorial now whatever the data given to you the values of n and r just put in the formula and get the answer if only combination if only selections to be made you use this formula if after selection you have to arrange then use this do not directly use this you go by this step right the selection is done and then arrangement is done so automatically you'll be getting this but you won't be confused uh, whether to use permutation or combination right